Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course, he created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are Model XZ-2003. My feet are Model XZ-2005 underscore B. Be careful. The Model XZ-2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker.
Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. It's you? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why, do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? <sighs> yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then.
there you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Here, this is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. 
That is perfect. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Uh, our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Hello. Kate, so what's new? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. <gasps> what problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. <gasps> uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? <gasps> and more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing, I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, ah! things... Ah! The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. Ah! You can count on me. I... Darn it.
no point. It's locked. Things jam. I no longer need these punch cards. <laughs> 